So back in 2021, Honda ended the production of their then hydrogen fuel cell powered Honda Clarity, which had been on sale in parts of California. The decision was made because of slow sales, but even back then they believed in the technology and they wanted to continue working on fuel cell vehicles as well as their EV vehicles. Well now they have revealed details on their next hydrogen powered SUV, the 2024 CRV fuel cell EV. Now Honda's next hydrogen powered vehicle will be a version of the new CRV with plug-in capability. The automakers started talking about the possibility of this car last year, as this would be the follow-up to the company's previous hydrogen vehicle. And now, with them releasing more info, the picture surrounding the powertrain is becoming a bit clearer. The hydrogen-powered SUV will use a fuel cell system co-developed with GM and will have two hydrogen tanks in the rear of the vehicle. Under the car, you'll find an intelligent power unit and a fuel cell system. The drive unit will be mounted under the front hood, as with normal combustion-powered cars. The battery in the plug-in part of the equation seems to be really small, since Honda didn't really specify where it will sit. Honda said that the hydrogen-powered CRV will also have a power export function, similar to the Ford Lightning pickup. Now, the previous hydrogen-powered car from Honda was only sold in California. As for this one, I don't know where they will be releasing it, but they did say that the production of this fuel cell Honda will begin in 2024 at the Performance Manufacturing Center in Ohio, and that factory will produce all the fuel cells even for the Japanese market. Though the automaker hasn't said much in terms of specifics about the hydrogen car, it did provide additional information about its next generation fuel system. Ryan Hartley, the senior manager and division lead of the Energy Solution Business Division at America's Honda Motor Company, said that the new system is more than twice as durable and has a significantly faster startup at fringent temperatures under 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Moreover, the fuel cell system costs two-thirds less to build than that of the Clarity. Now, in the previous video, I talked about Toyota and how they use science to prove that fully electric vehicles are worse in the long term in comparison with hybrid powered vehicles. So cars like this and then hydrogen internal combustion powered cars and hydrogen powered hybrids are a more viable future, especially if you take into consideration that we have a limited supply of lithium and the other rare materials that are used to produce EVs. So if you want to see more of what Toyota thinks the future of the automotive world would look like, go and watch this video. Anyways, Honda said that it plans to build around 2,000 units of its next-gen fuel cell system a year by the year 2025 at the fuel cell system manufacturing center that Honda and GM will run in Michigan. Now, by the year 2030, they are planning to build 60,000 cars a year of either this unit or a further improved fuel cell system. This tells me Honda knows something we don't. 60,000 cars a year is a lot, especially since at the moment, the infrastructure just isn't ready yet for that amount of hydrogen-powered cars on the road. So this target tells me that behind the scenes, there must be more talk and planning of further developments in infrastructure, fueling stations, and even storage of hydrogen. Now, Honda also further elaborated on their goals. Compared to the next generation system, we set additional targets to reduce the cost by one half and to double the durability. We're targeting to make the future generation system to be comparable with diesel engines in terms of ease of use and total cost of ownership. Honda said it sees fuel cell systems as a vital player in the carbon neutral society and doesn't just want to put them in cars. The automaker is searching for partners to test them in commercial vehicles, stationary power stations and construction machinery. In fact, Honda is currently testing hydrogen trucks in China with Dongfeng Motors and will start before April 2024 in Japan with Isuzu. Now, they are also searching for partners in the US, but as of now, it doesn't seem like they have any. Now, Honda is making a massive push towards hydrogen, which is great. Fuel cells have all the benefits of electric vehicles without the longer charging times and broken charges. I do hope that Honda, like Toyota, starts to develop internal combustion-powered hydrogen vehicles but for now, it doesn't seem like they have any interest in that path. Anyways, let me know down below what you think of this new hydrogen-powered Honda CRV, and do you like the way Honda is going about it and the path they are taking? 
I do think this is much better than going fully electric, like a lot better. I just, I'm old school. I like an internal combustion engine. I like vibration. I like a car that makes a sound. It's just how I am. I can't help it. So I like the idea of a hydrogen powered internal combustion engine. But even this is better than just like fully electric cars. I don't like the idea of having to spend 30, 40 minutes charging my car and knowing what goes into producing that electricity and knowing what goes into producing batteries. Just it doesn't make sense to me trying to convert everybody to go to a fully electric world. But let me know down below what you think. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you like all of my other stuff, so just go through it. See if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.